Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Firefox is my main browser. And over the past few months, I've been having trouble with it. So today, I'm going to show you the trouble I've been having with it. And I'm going to install the Brave browser from the AUR. So let's get to it. Right now, I'm in my main production computer. And I'm not going to go into a virtual machine today. And of course, I'm running Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. So I'm going to open up Firefox and I'm going to go to YouTube. Because the problem I'm having with Firefox is only when I'm running or playing YouTube. So I have the volume turned off and I'm playing a video from Derek at DistroTube. And it has nothing to do with his channel. <laughs> it's with all the channels and all the videos. So when I'm playing it, I can change the volume when it's in small mode and... I can also scan along different parts of the video. Now, when I make it full screen, this is where I'm having the problem. First of all, you can see up here, it's a little bit off, uh, off screen, right? And now watch what happens. So you see here, I'm almost halfway through the video. Watch what happens if I go to make it back to a small screen. Brings it to the end. So let's go back to the beginning of the video. You can't, like, you can't even scan along here. Look at this. Is this a hassle or what? Now, if I go down here, it works. <laughs> if I put my mouse way at the bottom, it works. And the same thing with the volume. Like, if I hit the volume, it doesn't work. If I bring my mouse way down here, see, it works there. So for some reason it's off kilter, I don't know why. And if I want to go back to small screen, it's going to move it ahead like that. Now, I can escape and bring it to small screen. And when I'm in small screen, everything works fine. Look at this. Okay. I can scan through the videos. And the volume works. So I'm just going to close this. Now, the thing that's interesting is that when I'm in the Qtile window manager, it works fine. And when I'm in the GNOME desktop environment, it works fine. But I like using the awesome window manager. It's my favorite. And the other thing, too, is that one might think I thought maybe it's because of my resolution or because of uh, I'm not using the default awesome window manager uh, configuration. So even when I change the resolution, that doesn't fix it. And even when I revert back to the default Awesome Window Manager configuration, that doesn't fix it as well. And this has been going on for a couple months, uh, two months, at least two months, maybe three. And I don't know how to fix it. Now, when I run other web browsers, I don't have that problem. Now, like I said, I don't have that problem in the Qtile Window Manager or in the GNOME Desktop Environment. So I could use another Window Manager or Desktop Environment. But I really do like Awesome. It works best for my workflow. So today I'm going to install the Brave browser from the AUR because I know I don't have this problem with the Brave browser. So what I'm going to do is, well, I should have closed Firefox again. So let's open up Firefox and let's go to archlinux.org. There it is right there, archlinux.org. And I'm going to go to the AUR. I'm going to type in Brave. I'm going to choose Brave Bin. Okay. And there was a new Brave browser released. What's today? Today is the 28th. There was a new Brave browser released two days ago. So I'm going to click it on. And I'm going to click on this link. And I'm just going to go to another workspace. And I'm going to open up Xterm. And I'm going to make this a little larger. I already have a folder, an AUR folder, because I like to keep all my AUR packages in a separate folder. So it's organized and I know where it is. So I'm going to CD into AUR. And I'm just going to list the files in there. So I only have two AUR packages. I'm not a big AUR user. Uh, so I have OBS background remover that I've been using for several months. And sometimes it's really wonky. And if you ever noticed lately that sometimes my face is going, you know, or sometimes my shirt's going a bit off. Well, it's because uh, this OBS background remover is not perfect, or perhaps it's my system, I don't know. And I also have OnlyOffice, because uh, I stopped using LibreOffice a while back. I like OnlyOffice better. 
I only have two AUR packages. So Brave is going to be my third AUR package. So what I'm going to do is now that I'm in my AUR folder, and like I said, I have two packages already in there, I'm going to put my third package in. I'm going to insert that in. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to do git clone, and then I'm going to do insert it in that link, enter, and there we go. Now let's ls it. So now I have three packages in my AUR folder Brave Bin, OBS Background Remover, and Only Office. So I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to cd into Brave folder. I'm going to ls it, and I'm going to do a less package build. I'm just going to look at the file. We can see the maintainer is Brave, and I'm going to scan down, and we can see here Brave Bin. We can see here it's coming from the URL is https brave.com. We can see here it's coming from github.com, Brave Browser Release Download, and also the source here as well. Coming from it github.com brave brave browser releases download now let's just scan down a bit and we're at the bottom and what, what else can we see it's brave everything looks good so what i'm going to do is hit the q to quit out of there and i'm going to type in this command make pkg dash syc hit enter it just doesn't take long to install it's a binary package now it's asking for my password Put my password in and I'm going to say yes. And we're installing the Brave browser from the Arch Linux user repository. And I'm doing it manually. I'm not using an AUR helper. So it's done. So now I'm going to CD out of there. I'm going to clear the screen. And I have an alias to get into my awesome configuration file. So I'm going to type in ah config. You know what? I'm going to go to the top. <laughs> And I'm going to scan to Firefox. And there it is there. I have Brave there, but it's commented out. So in the awesome window manager, a comment or to deactivate a line, it's not a number sign or the hashtag. It's actually two dashes. So I'm just going to activate it. And now I'm going to save the file. And I'm going to close it. And I'm going to restart the awesome window manager. You see the Brave is not in here, right? let's restart it oh let's close um this we don't need that anymore we closed firefox we restarted it now let's see if brave is in my menu there we are it's right here the brave browser so i'm going to click it on and i'm going to open up the brave browser i'm going to skip this i'm going to skip this maybe later and I don't want to give Brave diagnostics, so I'm going to unclick those, and I'm going to finish. What I'm going to do is go here, click on the hamburger menu, and I'm going to go down to settings. And what am I going to do? Get started. I like to open on a new page all the time. I don't want to continue where I left off. Open new page. Appearance. I don't want to show tabs and bookmarks. I, I don't want to do that. Let's go down. I like to, I love the home button. So I'm going to turn on the home button. And I'm going to close show bookmark button. I don't want that. And I think I'm going to just leave the rest the way they are. And now I'm going to go to um, content. I'm not going to do anything in content. Shields. Trackers. Now, of course, the Brave browser comes automatically installed with an ad blocker. You know, whereas with Firefox, you have to go and install the ad blocker as a plugin. But like I said, Brave already comes with it installed. You want to make sure it's turned on. So trackers and ad blocking it. The default is standard. I'm going to make it aggressive. <laughs> and upgrade connections to HTTPS standard. I'm going to put it on strict and I think I'm going to leave the rest the way they are. That's privacy and security. And I think that's all I'm going to do. Oh, there's more I want to do. So now what I want to do is in the bottom right hand corner where it says customize right here, customize, I'm going to click it on and show background images. I'm going to leave on, but sponsored images. I'm going to turn off. You can leave it on if you want. It's all a matter of preferences. Brave stats, I'm going to leave on. Top sites, I'm going to shut. I don't like that. 
There we go. I have trouble toggling that off. <laughs> cards. You click on cards, and then there's a bar here. I'm going to go right to the bottom, and I'm going to turn off the cards. I don't want them on. And I think that's it. That's all I'm going to do. And now what I'm going to do is let's go to YouTube. And you can see my braid shields are working. My ad blocker is working. And what I'm going to do is, and let's just call it the same video. So the problem I was having wasn't in small screen, so I'm not going to do any experiments with that. I know this is going to work. <laughs> so let's make it full screen. So you can see, you can already see the resolution is working properly, even though I'm still in the awesome window manager. The resolution is working fine. Uh, now, when I'm watching full screen like this in uh, Firefox, when I click on this to minimize it, it jumps the video to the end, like I showed you before. But here, if I click it on, there you go. It minimizes it back to uh, the small window. Okay, so let's make it large again. And the volume works. Because in large mode, or full screen, the volume doesn't work unless I put the mouse way down here, then it works. Because for some reason it's off, kilter or off, resolution is off somehow. Okay, so that works. Now let's see moving forward. Can I move forward? Moving forward works. Okay, works perfectly. So now, let's see if I minimize it, it works. So now I'm gonna go home. And I have the Brave browser installed. And that's it. In this video, I talked about a problem I've been having with Firefox for the past few months, and I really don't know why. And the problem only exists when I'm running Firefox within the awesome window manager and watching YouTube videos. So because I'm running Arch Linux, I went to the AUR and I manually installed the Brave browser from the AUR. I showed you how to do it. I didn't use an AUR helper. I just installed it manually from the AUR. And I opened up the Brave browser and I changed the settings to the way I like them. And I showed you that uh, YouTube videos work perfectly fine. The resolution is fine. When I go to minimize it, it minimizes it. It doesn't jump it to the end of the video. The volume works fine and scrolling through the video works fine. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mensch.